And welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Re Chain of Memories. In the last part, we... Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I was actually trying to remember. We went to Monstro, and now we're going to Neverland. For the ninth time? <laughs> no. Uh, but yeah, Neverland. That's a world that almost appears in almost every Kingdom Hearts game. There... Okay, half of the Kingdom Hearts games. Five bucks says it will be in three. But <laughs> five Invisa dollars there. But uh, yeah, Neverland is the same as the other worlds we've been going through. Sad part about this is this is especially where I, you know, especially where I got like ticked off because I actually had a pretty like flawless run, my original run, run in with Hook, but uh, not the case with this time. In any case, the Heartless for Neverland are basic are your basic Heartless. Um, cabin Fever Heartless, I don't know. Uh, swashbuckling Heartless, I guess you can call them. Um, the Helikicker Brothers, Demon Kickers, and that's about it. But the Power of Mickey. In any case, um, oh yeah, another power that Mickey has. He also has the power to heal you. Along with stunning your opponents. You probably already noticed that by now, but eh. <laughs> Who cares? I certainly don't. And now to enter the mini ing world. <laughs> I think I said one too many ings. Oh wow, this part's only like 11 minutes long, huh? Well, this is not as big as the Brave Prince Musashi later parts. Good god, that gets long. Yeah, upgraded! Yeah, I really don't have much to say. I'm, it, you know, it's like past me just knows what I'm going to uh, be, be like saying in the future. So he just does this to screw me up. Wait, I do this to screw me up. Time paradox! You created a time paradox. Game over. Oh, sweet, another level up. <laughs> what am I gonna get? Oh, there's nothing really to get besides darkness. <laughs> Darky darkney of darkness. All right, uh, either I give darkness a boost or I just put out a zero. <laughs> we all know I'm probably not going to be put out a zero. Wait, what? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, that was a level seven card. Level seven card. It'd be some twist of fate that that uh, this duel would be a level seven. Oh, it's just a blue card. Thank God, uh, the you know that was you know it, I already had a blue card. So sorry, I'm getting a bit tongue tied here. Oh well, that was fast. <laughs> yeah, Neverland is uh, very short and straightforward, just like Agraba. But, um, in any case, boss fight against Hook. You can either have an easy time against him or a pain in the balls time. Since, you, you know, the game is already deciding what tricks you're gonna use against him. You know, eh, Riku obviously does do more damage than Sora. But again, the game decides your deck for you, so. Yeah, don't be too surprised if, you know, you run out of cards or you run out of cards or. Oh, or my favorite, the ladder. You run out of cards! Uh, but seriously, just for that reason alone, can Hook be, like, really annoying? Thankfully, though, he does get affected by Mickey's mm, thingma, what's it? But I really hate that ability of his where he just, um, shoot, where he just, you know, suddenly gets a, a crap ton of zeros. How, how is that fair? I want, I really want an honest answer. How is that fair? In any case, there's bearable. Oh! Something I only figured out later on in the game. Riku actually has a double jump. I am not joking. 
Um, if you're in darkness mode while, uh, you know, the, in, in Kingdom Hearts 2, they technically call this an air dodge, and, you know, I can certainly see why they would call it an air dodge. But um, in Kingdom Hearts 2, you, you can double jump if you got the blah 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 form. I'm not even going to, no, blank blank form. I'm not even going to spoil that for you, because that's kind of the next Kingdom Hearts game I'm doing. But, um, you know, you it's technically a double jump. Gets you more mid-air time and whatnot, and you're allowed to dodge mid-air strikes. I like it. Though I only found out later on in the game. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Any case, uh, wow, this is really short. Probably should uh, save the game, because you know you don't know what will happen in the next five minutes. That will screw me over. <laughs> Any case, uh, let's continue. Uh, as soon as I find a level 8 card. Oh, that was fairly simple. Or I could just use the random joker and give me a random room. Oh, roulette room, that's better. <sighs> Even though I just sighed there, roulette room is indeed better. Uh, I believe I already explained this, but it allows you to choose whatever card you get, so... You know, if you're at the uh, boss of the world and you don't have the proper card to take them on, you know, rule that room away. There's no, like, rule in the game that you're not able to do it, so. And of course, I just had to take out another Heartless, because I am that Heartless. See? Quadrat Demonstratum. I can pick whatever card I want. Zeros, ones, or blues, reds, Tremator, Tremator, I don't know. I had the chance to upgrade my regular attack, and I did not take it. Why? Because I'm awesome! <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm mega awesome! I'm super mega force! That's redundant. <laughs> uh... Seriously, I'm surprised that it, that Power Rangers is still on for like 26 years. I don't know. It's a lot of numbers. I know it's not the 26th anniversary. Oh, shoot. It's not 26 years old. 26 was a few years ago. I think it's like the... What is it? The, um... I... No, I... Yeah, it is the 26th. I just remembered that the uh, Power Rangers Legacy game was like, the 15th, right? <laughs> I don't know anymore! <laughs> God, this is a long ladder. Snake Eater! <laughs> I don't know why that just popped into my head at the last minute, but, uh... uh yeah, seriously, it, this reminds me so much of Metal Gear Solid 3. Because the main thing you do in that game is climb ladders. <laughs> and for the most part of the game, I pretty much just had blasted my, um... Uh, the soundtrack on my ears every time I climb the ladder, like, Snake! But, uh, yeah. Huh. Strangely quiet. Maybe too quiet. Oh, <laughs> cutscene says different. What's happening to Sora? Who? Sora already finished the game. <gasps> Blasphemy! <laughs> He'll never be finished with this game. Well succeed in getting his puppet. Sora would be a valuable asset to the organization. But Marluxia and Loxene's actions... They... But according to 350 and a half days, don't you already have what you're looking for? And then there is Axel. Or did Kingdom Hearts 2 come in there somewhere and just... I, I don't know. I never completed 358 and a half days. It was too boring. But I wish I was joking. Think of the mess it would make. So we must tell him. I'll explain why in Kingdom Hearts 2. But till then... Well, since uh, Cutscene explained it for us, I will see you guys in the next part. I am back at Blood Runners signing out. Please subscribe, like, and comment. Uh, you know, if you like this part, check out some of my other stuff that I do. Um, well, my other walkthroughs, really. I don't really do much else.
But uh, till then, I I will see you guys next time, and we'll be heading to wait for it, <laughs> wait for it, Disneyland, ah, Traverse Town. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys then.